Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum, welcome back. Today's recipe is a chicken biryani. It's a beautiful Friday morning in Sharjah. And on Fridays, two things special, that's the Juma and the biryani. So today's biryani is a Pakistani biryani. Today I'll be making a Sindhi biryani. That's a Pakistani style Sindhi biryani. And before I move on to the recipe, if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you haven't subscribed till now, please don't forget to subscribe. And click the bell icon so that you don't miss out on the recipes posted. Making the Sindhi biryani, you'll need to fry onions first. In half a cup of oil, you'll need to fry 4 sliced onions. And fry till it becomes golden brown. And once it's become golden brown, you'll need to add 1 kilo of chicken. And fry it for around 5 minutes and you need to saute it in between and you can see the slight color change it has become almost white now you need to add the Sindhi biryani mix you have used the Shan Sindhi biryani mix if you haven't tried it out till now please do give it a try it's a superb biryani you get you have put one full packet of Shan biryani mix and you need to add some chunks of potatoes. Here I have put two big potatoes. I have cut it into chunks. And to this you need to add ginger garlic paste. That's one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. And you need to mix it all well. And once you've mixed it well, let it cook on a high flame. For five minutes and make sure you keep sauteing it and after five minutes to this you'll need to add half a cup of curd and once you've added the curd you'll need to mix it well and once you've mixed it well to this you'll need to add some water that's two cups of water if you're making it with beef or mutton you'll need more water and you'll need to mix it well and you'll need to cover and cook for around 15 minutes if it's mutton or beef it'll take more time now for making the rice i've taken 600 grams of basmati rice the rice measurement i've slightly increased the measurement the rice measurement was very less for the masala i've soaked it in some water for five minutes keep some water for boiling add in four tablespoons of salt and you need to wash and drain your rice and add this to the boiling water let your rice cook till it's three-fourth cooked. It shouldn't be fully cooked because you'll be putting it for them for the remaining cooking. And once it's three-fourth cooked, you'll need to drain it and you'll need to pour in quarter cup of oil so that your rice doesn't stick to each other. Mix it well and you need to keep it aside. Now that your chicken is cooked, you'll need to place sliced tomatoes. You have taken three sliced tomatoes. Add it. 6 to 8 green chilies that's whole green chilies and coriander leaves that's one handful of coriander leaves and one bunch of mint leaves and you need to add chopped coriander and mint leaves and you need to spread it evenly and once you've added the coriander and the mint leaves evenly, you shouldn't mix it and let it cook for a minute. And to this, you'll need to add the cooked rice and you'll need to spread it evenly. And once you've spread it evenly, you'll need to put it for them. You need to seal it properly. For that, I'll be putting a foil first. And putting the lid over it and let it be in them for about 15 minutes on a low flame and after about 15 minutes the rice is fully cooked and once it's cooked you'll need to gently mix it 
so the masala reaches everywhere mix it very gently so that the rice doesn't break off and once you've mixed it well you can serve it hot along with some raita if you haven't tried it till now please give it a try it's a super yum sindhi biryani do try it out and please let me know your feedbacks in the comment section below if you're new to my channel and if you haven't subscribed till now please don't forget to subscribe like and share until i come back with a new recipe take good care of yourself bye bye